In the last video, we saw how to use the exponent property of logarithms to solve for an unknown exponent. And this is the technique that we will need to use in solving a problem such as this one. How long will it take $2,500 to grow to $2,800 at 9% compounded monthly? This question asks how long, or equivalently, how many periods will it take? And so that means that we will need to solve for that unknown exponent. Okay, so let's write down what it is that we know. For our formula, A is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to the n power. Okay, rem remember that A is the future amount, so that's the 2800. P is the present amount, or the principal, that's the 2500. We don't know what N is, and we can work out what I is, so let's do that right now. I is the interest rate per period. It says that we have 9% compounded monthly. That means that we need to divide up the 9% annual rate into 12 periods. So that'll give us 3 quarters of a percent and converted to a decimal that's 0 .0075. Okay, so that means our 1 plus i is going to give us a factor of 1.0075. And then we have to raise that to the n power. So everything in this formula here is known except for n. And in order to solve for n, we're going to use the technique that we applied in the previous video. So, but before we do that, we're going to divide each side by the 2,500. Okay, so 2,800 divided by 2,500. 2,500 times 1.0075 raised to the n power divided by 2,500. So these 2,500s cancel out. And the hundreds on the left side cancel out, so we have 28 over 25 is equal to 1.0075 raised to the n power. Okay, now again, we have an unknown exponent here, and the way we extract it is to use the logarithm function. So that's the next step, take logarithms log 28 over 25 is equal to log 1.0075 raised to the n power. And then we're going to use the exponent property of logarithms to extract the exponent. That means this is going to come out front. So now we have log 28 over 25 is equal to n times the log 1.0075. I remind you that logarithms of numbers are just other numbers. We can find them using our calculator and that will allow us to solve for n. So then n is equal to log 28 over 25 divided by log 1.0075. Okay, so let's work that out on the calculator now. And I remind you the log button on your calculator is right here. So log 28 divided by 25. And I put that in parentheses, 
So that needs to be done first and then take the logarithm. That gives us 0 0.049218 approximately. And then we have log 1.0075 approximately so I want to take the 0 0.049218 and divide by that answer and my final answer is 15.16 okay so about 15 then is the final answer